I'm so sick of y'all. <laughs> and by y'all, I don't mean y'all. By y'all, I mean, if you know me, then you know. Karens, listen. So, I got an issue. And I thought I'd bring it to y'all. So, y'all remember the Steelers game incident, fight, whatever, when Karen thought she was bold enough to slap uh, a black man and she and her whatever the fuck he was, got they ass beat. So I did a little research as I was uh, cruising the streets of Google. And two months ago, I made a video about it. Shout out to y'all for the uh, 3.6K views. And I displayed the video of the fight in the whole video that I did. But I also read the news article from when they were collecting evidence to do the investigation. And if you did not see that, for one, that means you're not subscribed. So I'm gonna make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all that. All that. Watch the whole video. But just in case, I'm gonna give you this clip. So I hope, and I really hope somebody, want her white counterpart see that video, don't fuck with us. Please, please don't fuck with us. And what's going to kill me, because I, I, I read the news, the little article they posted. This shit say, hold on, let me. <clears throat> Hinesfield management is aware of the video and incident from last night's game in Hinesfield. We are working with local authorities and Hinesfield staff to gather more information and identify the individuals involved, said Steelers spokesperson Burton. This kind of con this kind of conduct is inexcusable, and we will respond accordingly once more information is obtained. Pittsburgh police are asking anyone with information on the incident to contact police at whatever the fuck their bullshit number is. Y'all got a whole motherfucking video. What the fuck information are y'all looking for? What y'all want to know the backstory? Okay. So at the time they were investigating. Don't know why. But uh update on the whole situation. You know what? Instead of me go ahead and telling you and diving deep into it. Let me give you that clip too. Cue video. 11 o'clock, Pittsburgh police citing a woman with disorderly conduct in connection with an incident in Heinz Field back on August 21st, the Steelers' preseason game against the Lions. She is Jenny Kammerdiner. Now, police say that there have been no other citations or charges filed. Police are still investigating the case. Seriously? <clears throat> really? So she got a citation or cited, it, it clearly, it wasn't a charge. Stop saying it's a charge. It's not a charge. A citation is what it was for disorderly conduct. So she basically owes a fine and she got a ticket for disorderly conduct. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Like, are you really? This is what we're doing? So she just pay a little money and that's it? Of course. Why are we? I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. But that's okay because she got the ass whooping that she deserved and so did her supposed to be husband, aka bitch, because that's exactly what the fuck he was. Um, because yeah, that's a no. That's a no. I don't, I don't wanna be would have do and somebody commented on that video that I did and made the perfect comment me personally because she definitely like told him to sit the fuck down like clearly she wears the pants in the house me personally it ain't I I'm not gonna do that I don't want no man that I can tell to sit the fuck down and they sit down no <laughs> like clearly you have no help to me so why the fuck are you here that's not the point Anyway, disorderly conduct, she got a ticket, she got a little citation or whatever, she got paid a little money, which she probably already got. Typical Karen shit. 
Typical bullshit justice system shit. Now, so far, he has not been charged, from what I can tell from doing my research, which threw me. I'm a little surprised, because y'all know they always try to throw it on us. But, um, she got a citation. She got to pay a fine for disorderly conduct after she slapped him first. And he hit her back as well as whoop that man's ass in self-defense. That's assault. <laughs> like, that's assault. Like, you should... A citation? And let me tell you what disturbs me even more is... um, When I was 17, I went to the movies with my friends, right? We went to Edwards. If you went in Houston, you know where Edwards is. I'm in high school. And... I'm in front of the restaurant that was in Edwards at the time. Me and my best friend. It was me, my best friend, my cousin, and her little brother. I'm in, we're standing in front of the restaurant entrance. Not even directly in front of it, just kind of off to the side. And, of course, the owner, manager, whatever, is white. And he comes and tells us, y'all need to move from in front of my entrance. First of all, we're not in front of your entrance. Second of all, who you talking to? Because when I say I choose violence, that's how I've always been. And back then, it was way worse. My attitude was way worse. Like, I'm, I'm whooping ass. Like, with no explanation, with no reasoning. Like, I really chose violence back then. And, okay, cool. We move, you know, way to the side, by the pole. Not even near your entrance. Barely in front of your restaurant. He comes back over to us and proceeds to put his finger in my best friend's face to tell us again, we got to move. Like, you need to get from in front of my restaurant. You need to do this. You need to, first of all, you too close. Second of all, get your finger out of my best friend's face. So what you're not going to do is talk to her or me like that. We not in front of your restaurant. You just a racist ass motherfucker. And you don't want two black people, two black girls that ain't doing shit to nobody to be standing in front of your restaurant because we're waiting on the movie to start. Obviously, we're there early. Edwards was the hangout for my school. I went to Lamar High School. Y'all know movies was the hangout back then. This was 2010. So I got an issue because at this point, you being disrespectful and I don't like it. <laughs> like, I don't like it. Like, I'm about to break your finger. And so, of course, us, mainly me, go back and forth with him. Like, get your finger out of her face. I'm finna slap the shit out of you. At 17, he proceeds to call the officer that is at the movie theater because they had police officers there. The officer, who is also white, comes over and tells us we have to leave the premises. Who also had an attitude. And you know me, again, I, reckless. I, I don't have any respect for authority. Like, no respect for authority. And I'm like, hold on, bro. Like, you ain't, you don't, you don't got to take that tone. You don't have to do that. Like, fine, we'll leave, but what you're going to do is calm down. And we left, whatever. Fuck it. We don't want to be here at this point anyway. We go outside, and then, of course, back then, that's when my mom had to drop me off and all that. So we go outside and uh, kind of just really chilling outside, honestly, because that's where the hangout spot was anyway. And I look and I'm like, my cousin and my best friend left me. I don't know where my cousin was at the time because she wasn't in the altercation. And so I saw her little brother. I was like, hey, where, where Ariel and them went? And he was like, oh, they went back inside to get the money back for their tickets because we had already bought our movie tickets. I was like, oh, okay, bet. Because the dude said, if y'all come back in here, I'm going to get you for trespassing. That's what the officer said. Okay, whatever. But they were able to go back in there and get their money back for their tickets. So I'm like, okay, well, if they went in there and we all got kicked out to get their money back, like, I'm going to go get my money back. And so I go in, I get to the counter to get my money back, and all of a sudden, an officer throws me on the ground. And then another one comes, and now I'm on the ground at this point. And matter of fact, my stepbrother was with us too. I'm on the ground at this point, and I have on a mini skirt, a spaghetti shirt shirt, and some sandals. And I'm 17. And I was skinnier back then. 
I got a knee in my back from one officer. I got another officer holding my feet. They were handling me as if I was some 200 and something pound big ass man. And so my brother's like, hey, y'all ain't got to handle her like that. Get off my sister. Get off my sister. And I'm telling him like, hey, bro, calm down because I don't want you to get in trouble too. Like you a black man in America. Calm down. I just, just be cool. I'm good. Don't worry about me. I'm good. Yeah, this shit hurt, but I'm a thug at the end of the day. And so they handcuffed me, take me to the back behind the little concession stand. And the officer, it was like some beyond scared straight shit. Like the officer was all in my face. Like, I told you not to come back in here. You need to watch your attitude. You got to ask blah, 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 blah. Because I'm literally sitting there like, don't spit in my face. Well, more like this. Don't spit in my face. Get out of my face. Get up my, why are you so close to me? Get out of my face. Get your finger out of my face. Stop spitting in my face. Like, that's how I am. And so he gets aggravated and angry, obviously, because I'm talking shit at this point. Like, you got me fucked up. <laughs> so he like, all right, this this the game you want to play? So they take me into the little security office or whatever. Needless to say, I went to jail. <laughs> I went to jail, <laughs> to the grown-up jail. I went to city jail. Guess what my charge was? Disorderly conduct. I went to jail at 17 with the, uh, with the adults for disorderly conduct. It was Easter weekend. I was in there. My mom was panicking. She wanted to bail me out, but she was going to use my money to buy my first car, that I was using to buy my first car. I say, nah, I could. I finna just sit this out. <laughs> like I'm just time served. I'm finna just sit this out. This was like on a Friday night. I didn't even see a judge, I wanna say until Sunday. Sunday evening. And so I go to the little TV judge at that they ain't even take me to court, the little TV judge. And she was like, um, okay, are you gonna do it again? Blah blah blah. I was like, no ma'am. And so she that was it, time served. And then I get out like early Monday morning because it takes forever for them to process you. And you know, that's it. Because had I been bailed out, I didn't have to go to court and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, man, fuck it. I'm finna just sit this shit out. I ain't drink shit. I ain't pee. I ain't do nothing. By the time I walked out of there, I was blue. But, um, guess what my charge was? Disorderly conduct. I ain't get no ticket. I ain't get no fine. I ain't get shit. They threw my ass in jail. Yet, you have this white bitch Karen over here, who decided she wanted to put her hands on this black man. She was cited for a disorderly conduct. She got a ticket and got to pay a fine. Do y'all see the, the difference? Is, is it just me or do y'all see what I'm saying? 17-year-old black girl get charged with disorderly conduct and has to do jail time. So, I don't even know how old she is because you know they age bad as fuck. White woman gets cited for disorderly conduct or charged. They keep trying to say charged. This shit was a citation. Charged for disorderly conduct. She get a ticket and a fine. <clears throat> I just told somebody to get out of my face. I didn't put my hands on none of them officers. I didn't put my hands on nobody. She slapped shit out of a black man who then proceeds to beat their ass. But nevertheless, she put her hands on somebody. I, I'm not feeling the equality here. And that's what pisses me off. That's a load of fuck shit. That is a load of bullshit. So, of course, y'all know me being me and my big ass mouth and the fact that I have got to say something to everything and all the racist motherfuckers and people who agree with what the fuck happened on her side. I had to comment to the original video. The link will be in the description to the news report video. But y'all know me. So cue pictures of my response to a dumbass comment that was made. That comment pissed me off. 
it made me mad, but I'm not surprised. No charges against the thug throwing countless punches. First of all, you're assuming he's a thug. Why? Because he's black. You're assuming he's a thug, throwing countless punches. Punches. So that's strike number one, because you're assuming he's a thug just because he's a black man. Second, you then, I don't know if we watched the same video. He clearly didn't watch the same video I watched. <laughs> like, clearly he didn't watch the same video I watched, because he then goes to say that it appears that he brushed her before and she smacks him back, first of all. If you watch the video, she tried to hit him and he blocked it. And then she slapped him. He didn't brush. He didn't. It was no him touching her first. And on top of that, he held back the punch that would have knocked her motherfucking ass on that goddamn floor unconscious. He could have easily hit her and he should have. But he did not. But then y'all proceed to fuck with him even more. So now at this point, I got to whip your ass because the man that decided to stand up and get in my face. Oh, you're going to have to take this ass whooping because who face you in? Because now we fight man to man. We fight man to man at this point. So I'm going to whoop your ass. Sis decides she wanted to jump in again. So now both of y'all got to take this ass whooping. Y'all both going to have to take this L at this point. So yeah, he pushed her. Knocked her out, whatever. Got her out the way. Got him out the way. Beat his ass. Everybody falling. And then she kicks him at the end. It was the kick for me. You don't put your feet on nobody. It was the kick for me. And then it stops. That kick would have warranted a whole nother ass whooping. Like, <laughs> at this point, I, gotta, I have to pick you up and throw you across these motherfucking chairs. Because there is no way. You do not put your feet on nobody and you don't spit on nobody. Those are the two most disrespectful things you could ever do. My grandma taught me that. You don't do that. But at the end of the day, I'm glad they did not charge him. For one, what is this investigation bullshit? What did y'all have to investigate? <laughs> like the footage is right there. So everybody's upset now because he ain't, he ain't facing no charges. For what? Defending himself? What charges y'all want him to face? Being black in America? We die for that all the time. So I'm not understanding. She didn't even get no charges. She should have gotten criminal charges for what she did. You put your hands on this man first. He defended himself. He has every right to do that. Every person in this country has the right to defend themselves. Because I'm telling you right now, had that been me, I'm going to defend myself by any means necessary. Because you put your hands on me. They gave, so obviously they know she was wrong because she was cited or whatever charged in some way. But disorderly conduct with a ticket? With a fine? I know you, I hate you. Like, I, I hate it here. Like, I know you fucking lying. I went to jail for that bullshit at 17, so without touching nobody. The fuck? I'm not surprised. This is the shit that, this is the shit that happens. This is the shit that happens. This is exactly what I'm talking about. How, had this been reversed, had this person been black, even if the woman was black and it was a woman, a black woman fighting a black man, it, the shit would have went way different. They get handled with kid gloves. They get fines and tickets and warnings and all kinds of bullshit. But we get killed. Unnecessary jail time. Hello, mass incarceration. We get all this other shit. We get more charges. You got a white person with one charge with a with a charge, and you got a black person with the same charge. Who you think gonna get more time? I thought so. The black person gets more time. Why? Because they're black. A white person can murder 20 people. A black man can go to jail for a minor jury charge. Who do you think will get more time? 
How deep y'all want me to go? Again, watch the We Matter series that I did when I talked about all this. We gotta, everybody wanna scream, stay woke. Uh, clearly, <laughs> like, I, I don't use the whole stay woke. I don't call myself woke. I just pretty much tell it like it is. I pretty much tell it like it is. And, and this is what I'm telling you. Because the shit is unnecessary. And it's one thing to say stay woke. It's another thing to open your mouth. Because you can type. You, you can type stay woke all day. You can make tweets all day. Hashtags all day. But what else? What else are you doing? What else are you doing? Besides staying woke. Quit, quit playing in my motherfucking face. <laughs> Quit playing in my face. Quit quit playing in my face. I'm so sick of you. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. This is bullshit. This is bull this is bullshit. God damn citation fine. You know what? I'm done. Like, comment, and subscribe. It's bullshit. Fuck it. I hate it here. I, I I'm done.